Hey there, it's Danielle Burnock from DanielleBurnock.com. Love yourself from Survive to Thrive, that lady on the internet who loves you. And I want to ask you, have you heard the term deconstruction? It's been in the news off and on over, I don't know, the last bit of time, connected to faith, Decon people deconstructing their faith. And that term deconstruction, it sounds very close to the word destruction. But you know what? Deconstruction does not mean destruction. Even the word all by itself doesn't mean that. And so when people you read about or hear about people deconstructing their faith, that does not mean they're destroying their faith. That is not what that means. And recently I realized that I did that in my life but I didn't know that term again. I have said this so many times that I have done so much of my healing of things that I didn't know the words for. I didn't know the fancy terms, psychological terms and trauma terms and religious terms and social terms. You know what? We don't have to know all the terms to continue to grow and to heal and to become the best we can be with our life and enjoy our life. But when we learn new terms, it can bring enlightenment to us. It can help us understand where we've come from, where we are, and where we're going. It can also help us understand other people better. So this term deconstruction, what it actually means is to take apart little by little, to break down, to analyze, to look at the small components. It's like to take apart. You know, so little kids do that sometimes. You give them something and they take it apart because they want to see how it works. That's what deconstruction is. I was researching it the other day because of something I read. I read a, a really long article after that in my research, which was kind of negative, and there is some negative press out there about deconstruction. But I want to shine a positive light on it. As I, when I realized that I had deconstructed my childhood. I had deconstructed my faith. And I continue to do this. And it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. In fact, the courses that I am creating, I have one created, I'm creating another. It really takes you through the process of deconstructing your childhood, your life, your faith, your life in general, to take it apart and look at it. And then what you do after you deconstruct it is you reconstruct with understanding. You reconstruct with passion. I wanted to share a little bit from my book, Emerging with Wings, where I realized I had done this. It's in the last chapter, it's in the last chapter actually, called Getting Wings. And I don't use the word deconstruction in here, but I realized that's really what I was doing. In this one uh, part, it says, when we lived in Arizona, we became aware that we had been isolated by design, that the pursuer had plans. So much was accomplished in us through that process that I did not expect the isolation to continue once we returned to Michigan, but it did. Things long buried needed to be addressed, and that is done best in private, like in a cocoon. And like the caterpillar digests itself, I seem to go through a similar process of digesting my childhood. That's that deconstruction. I just use a different word, but it's the same thing. When you, when you eat food, you chew it and it deconstructs it and it turns it into energy in your body. And so I want to encourage you to deconstruct your childhood. Take it apart and look at it and put it back together. If you had siblings, talk to them about it. Ask them questions. I did that when I was writing this book, Emerging with Wings. I talked with my brother. He's the only living relative I have left above me, not counting my children, those that came before me. And it brought so much clarity to my life. 
So I want to encourage you to deconstruct your childhood. You want help or you want to see how I did it? Get my book, Emerging with Wings. You want help? Go to my website, daniellebernock.com, and get any one of my courses, and I will help you. You can sign up for coaching. I can walk you through it so you can deconstruct your life, so you can construct it on purpose and go from surviving to thriving, go from, hey, my life's okay, to my life's freaking amazing because you took ownership of it, because you reconstructed it with intention, because you love your life when you do that. You live in intention. There's nothing like it. So I'm going to encourage you and thank you for listening to this. Thank you for your love for me, for listening to me, for watching my videos, buying my books, and being a part of my community, Victoria Souls Podcast. I, just, I love you. I love you. I come on here. I remind you of that all the time because you matter. And so till next time, I love you.